everyone, this is a quick video to show off the new user context object property or properties in Nintex Forms for Nintex Workflow Cloud. So this is a new feature whereby you can access things like the person's first name, last name, or email address if they've logged in. So to get access to that, first you select your start for, uh, start event as Nintex Form, and also make sure that you've selected authenticated users in this tenant because if we're trying to get the user's first name, last name, or email, and you've set it to a public anonymous, then they don't have any identity, so it's not really going to work. So selecting that, go to design form, and there's a couple of ways we can actually use this data. First, we're going to use a label. So put a label on, and it's really quick to access this data. Either you can use the context uh, option here, so I can see context, current user, email, first name, last name, so I can insert first name there. Now, the other way is you could actually go ahead and create a variable. So you might want to say something like full name. So we can do... Um, context dot current user dot first name and space plus uh, uh, context dot current user dot last name there we go so now we've got the full name so i can go ahead and create that as well so i'll just put a bit of a yeah there we go so it's either just put in a, a the context property by itself or you can go ahead and build variables like we did in here. So it's very, very quick and easy to access this. Now, the first thing you're thinking, well, I actually want to see how this works. Now, if you were to come to preview, you'll see it's actually blank. And that's because preview is like a simulated version of Nintex Forms. It's not actually running um, like it would when you've published it. So most things work like styles or rules or controls and those sort of things will work. However, we're not really logging into the preview so those context objects don't come through so keep that in mind so the first thing you want to do is apply changes and then publish your workflow and then you can go ahead and see if your context variables are actually working it's pretty straightforward so we're going to head and open up that form and you'll see the first name the 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 single property by itself has come through but also my variable of first name and last name has come through as well so what we'll continue designing, and the other way you could actually use this is also through rules. So if we were to put something like, let's delete the label, if we put uh, a couple of text shorts on here, and let's put an email address on there as well, so email. And so you might have this scenario where, where if the person's logged in, why make them fill out something that they probably, um, probably don't need to? Uh, first name, I'll put in last name last name and uh, whoops email all right so we'll go to rules we say add rule and we'll say um set first i'll set fields i think we'll do fields so we'll say if email uh, is empty uh then we'll just set all of them i think uh, i'll set the email set the first name and set the last name it doesn't really matter which property we choose as long as there's something that the rule can execute on. So if the email is empty, it's going to set the value of email to, and then click insert. And this is where we can access the form variable we had before, or we can do the context uh, object here. So we'll select, um, uh, oops, wrong one. Insert, context, email, insert. And we'll do the second one, value and value and Context, current user, first name, insert, last name, again, insert. So now we're good to go. So that's going to set up the form for us. And so if I think about, if you're going to display my first name and last name, I don't really need to update it. Then I'll just put it as read only. I think it doesn't really make sense. And maybe maybe your email as well. So I'll go ahead and press those as read only. So I'm going to go ahead and apply changes. I'm going to publish my form and see how this works. Okay, so we'll open this up again. And there you go, Ewan Gamble and my email address. So it's really, really quick, simple video. If you've got any questions, certainly let me know in the comments, um, but I hope you find this useful. Cheers.